Hi, this is Matt from Find My Blogway. I'm going to show you how to create a new online giveaway using Punch Tabs uh, competition software. <clears throat> so the first stage is go to punchtab.com. I've already got um, a membership with Punch Tab using their $99 a month package. Um, so once you've signed up, you've logged in, you don't even need to have a paid package to use Punch Tab. Um, you can use it completely free. The only thing that you get is some punch tab branding. But I've run full competitions before um, using the free package. Uh, one one example actually was for a big UK restaurant chain called Jimmy's World Grill. This is kind of it's ended now, but it had over ten thousand entries, and it still looks pretty good. So you can embed it via a widget, which I'll get onto afterwards. <clears throat> So the first stage that you want to look at is on the left here, go to giveaway. Once you've clicked that, you can see a current giveaway that um, I've been working on with a company. Um, but what you want to do is go to new giveaway. So it's a really easy to use interface in punch tab and that's why I really enjoy it. I use this over a lot of the other um, types of giveaway software, so the likes of WizHive and Rafflecopter and all the rest of them, even though I have used them, especially Rafflecopter, Rafflecopter for things in the past. But the first thing you want to do on Punch Tab is put the name of your giveaway. So you're essentially creating your widget, which you can see here on the right hand side. So Let's imagine we're giving away a set of headphones. So, uh, win a pair of awesome headphones, right? How do we want to enable users to enter? Do we want them to enter via social media and their email address, or do we want to just do it via email address only? Uh, so. What they're just saying is you might get a few less if you require an email address. In general, um, I normally always do it for social media based platforms and competitions. So that's the option that I want to choose here. When do you want your giveaway to start slash end? So you can completely change this. Say 22nd at 12 p.m. Say 3 p.m. We want it to end say, where are we, 22nd, in a week's time, on the 29th, at 5 p.m. Because I'm in the UK, I'm gonna set that, make sure you get this right, uh, because that can be a bit of a nightmare when you send out all your promotions saying, okay, competition ends at this time, and then you find that you've set the wrong time zone, which is not what you want to be doing. Uh, okay, so enter the details of the giveaway. So what is the giveaway prize? So this is going to be this area that gets populated. So you've got this area here. Now you want the main body of the snippet. So uh, Baz Wilkins. Headphones. Just recently got a pair of these, so that's what stuck to mind. Not shamelessly plugging uh, a client at all either. Uh, okay. Um, add a description. 128 characters. Keep it short and sweet. Uh, turns out. So I've just wrote something very short there. Um, you can obviously change that and <clears throat> I, would, I would hope that you would give it more than a few seconds thought like I have, uh, especially if you're going to be giving away a high value product. Then you want to upload an image. So just upload something. This, if you're going to do this, you have to make sure that um, you're going to be giving, uh, just using a very small image. So it needs to be around 100 pixels and 160 pixels height 
don't use a very big image because it just messes things up. Uh, I'm not going to use it for this example, but what it will do is it will show up just on the left here. So now we can look at the entry methods. So how are people going to gain entries into your competition? So they could like the Facebook page, they could follow you on Twitter, uh, they could make a comment on a specific page, they could Google Plus One you, uh, they could download something, visit a specific URL, answer a question, uh, follow you on Pinterest. So <clears throat> there's, there's all sorts of things that you can do. And single users can have multiple entries, which is fantastic for encouraging uh, more hype to go around your specific campaign that you're running. Also, it means that you can squeeze the most out of the users that are entering into the competition, getting them to not just like your Facebook page, which we will add, um, but also we want them to follow us on Twitter as well. So enter the URL to like. So let's just do Facebook. Oh, sorry, no, I, I'm getting this slightly wrong. This would be if I wanted them to like a specific URL. So it could be findblogway.com forward slash link prospecting, one of my recent posts. So you have to like that post, fire some social signals through to your URL, to your new blog post maybe. Um, that could be a great way of kind of for, for blogs to specifically take advantage of this. If I want them to actually like my Facebook page, can then add this. So Facebook.com HTTP forward slash I am my blog way. Done. Um, I also want them to follow me on Twitter. So blog way. Obviously adapting this for your own blog slash website slash company uh, and this is an awesome one that I love doing so enter a specific message that a user has to tweet so try with this one what I found in the past working really well is if you make it look like the specific user that's tweeting this isn't just doing a custom message so don't put hey win this five pound uh, gift card like it says here <clears throat> this is great. Put something like, can't believe at find one blog way giving away P3 So, something like this, can't believe I'm a blog wear giving away some new P3 headphones, been after these for ages. Now what you're going to get there is <clears throat> something that, so followed by this uh, will be the link to your competition page. <clears throat> also, you're getting a load of people mentioning your Twitter handle, so you can start responding to those. But alongside this, when someone tweets that, if someone you knew tweeted this, it sometimes does look like that's a genuine tweet where people are just genuinely excited about things. You're much more likely to click through thinking it's a genuine tweet by someone. Uh, I found this the other day actually for a competition where someone had done a very clever tweet along these lines, making it look very realistic. Um, it's only going to get your competition more entries, more shares. So really think about that. And uh, I'd really recommend using that as an entry method. <clears throat> don't go overboard. Don't start adding in all of these because it's just going to confuse people. I normally stick to between three and four, um, one of which I normally do for, for a recent one that I did was asking a question. What you can do is ask a question, any that you want, and get the users to respond within, I think it's about 300 characters. If you do this, um, you could then use the results to create a nice, unique bit of content, maybe an infographic. Again, getting loads of good information or just getting some feedback on your products. So really useful stuff. Likewise, get people to download 
a PDF that you've made, maybe it's an ebook, maybe it's even a brochure. I'd probably tend to not go along down those lines, but it could be something else that adds value that could then be um, giving you more content or link building or social media exposure. Likewise, just visiting one of your URLs. Don't just fire it through to the home page. Think about it. If I'm giving away some P3 headphones and I know that the user is actually interested in headphones, maybe I can send them through to another relevant page related to this kind of product um, so that they can have a little browse around, especially if you're an e-commerce site. So have a think about that there. Last thing, the giveaway rules. Start thinking about your T's and C's, get all of those in. You can use the standard punch tab rules, but I would recommend using um, your own custom terms and conditions just so that you can make sure that you're spot on with everything that you're giving away and all of the terms of the competition. So now you want to save your competition. <clears throat> now you can choose the order of your competition entry. So when they're first presented with the competition, um, the first thing is going to always be done the most. So one uh, user might only enter via one entry method. So start identifying which you want to be done first. So maybe you want more Twitter engagement. If that's the case, get that tweet up to the top. So then the second thing they do is they can follow the face, uh, follow the Twitter page, become a fan or like the Facebook page. So just really think about the ordering here. Um, it's, it's slightly annoying with this part of the interface where you can't just do one, two, three. You have to kind of do this weird thing that I don't know why punched have and sorted out where you only select them first. So if you want to do things, you have to kind of shuffle things on top of each other. So think about that and get that right from the start. And then the last things here are, here's your embed code. So you can just embed this widget, like I've shown you in this example here, within a web page. So we kit this out, added a few terms and conditions, and just embedded the widget within the page. And also, you can add this to your specific Facebook page as a Facebook tab. Uh, bear in mind though that Facebook tabs don't work on all mobile devices, but again, it's just good to have it on there for extra entry points. Uh, you can also have a sidebar widget if you've got a blog, it can be pretty good. So you can get the code there. Add this into constant contact if you want to do some email marketing as well, so that's good. And the last but not least, um, make sure that you also put in here the URL that your giveaways on. So like I've shown you here, get the full URL of this page and plug it in here so that when they've entered the competition, they're then redirected back to the main competition page or your home page, but just not punchedham.com. Okay, and that's that's pretty much everything. When you when it is running, you can edit slightly, but just be aware with with any kind of software, you don't want to start tweaking things while things are going. If you're changing stuff mid-competition, not only can you get in a bit of hot water with your terms and conditions, but you can start confusing users. And from past experience, when things start and if you end up losing data, it can be incredibly annoying, not least for your client. So that's PunchTab in a nutshell. And you can visit PunchTab for more information at punchtab.com. Okay, I hope this has been useful. Make sure you check out the other videos on the YouTube channel and subscribe to us as well. Thanks.